Hello, we're talking to Dr. James Busby and he wrote this book, How to Afford Veterinarian Care Without Mortgaging the Kids. How did you become a veterinarian, Jim? I was born into a family of veterinarians, so it's kind of in my blood. My great-grandfather was a veterinarian approximately 100 years ago. My father died while I was going to school, so when I graduated I actually took over his practice. But it's something I've done for over 40 years and I've been very happy with my choice. So tell us a little bit about your book. The book is something that I wrote because I'm becoming disgusted with what, with what the profession is becoming. I, I don't agree with a lot of things that are going on in the, in the veterinary medicine because I feel they are charging for a lot of things that are unnecessary. If pet owners are educated, if they know something, they then are able to say no when their veterinarian tells them you need this or that. And so many things today are simply not needed. Your book focuses on um, Lyme's disease and vaccinations. Um, could you also elaborate about one other area that you have major concerns? Well, heartworm. Heartworm is probably a nationwide area where people can spend a lot of money foolishly. Most vets will insist on an annual test for heartworm. And they do this in kind of a nasty way because they refuse to sell the yearly preventive unless they run the test first. Now this implication implies that if they were to give the client this preventive and he gave it to the dog and it was infected, it would be dangerous to the animal. Well in the first place, if they've had it on the preventive before, the preventive is virtually 100%. It would be virtually impossible to get infected. The American Heartworm Society publishes a multiple page pamphlet every three years. And this contains the most updated information on heartworm. And it's, it's official, it's for veterinarians. The American Heartworm Society's recommended treatment for an infected dog. Now this is treatment for an infected dog. The first six months they recommend nothing but the monthly preventive of heart dart. Now this is what veterinarians say you shouldn't give to the animal. And in actuality this is the best thing you can give to the animal. It does three things. It it removes the infectiousness of the dog, it removes the microfilaria, which are the heartworm babies that circulate in the blood. More importantly, it sterilizes the female worms, so they shrink in size. So when they later die, they, lose, they do less lung damage. Because when they do die, they flow into the lungs, and each one is a fairly large object, and each one is going to plug up a lung artery, and that section of the lung is going to die. So six months of heart guard will make the treatment a lot safer because the worms will be smaller. Then the American Heartworm Society wants you to take the animal into the vet so he can get his or her cut and that's usually in the neighborhood of six or eight hundred dollars. But, and I've known this for ten or fifteen years, keeping the animal on the on the heart guard of the monthly preventive for twelve more months will cure the animal. That's interesting. Now this treatment would be obviously much cheaper than the veterinarian treatment. I mean, 18 months of heart guard is a lot better than paying $1,800 or $800 for, for a vet treatment. And it would be much safer because the worms would be smaller. They would die slowly one at a time. They wouldn't all flood into the lungs in one mass. And this is something the majority of veterinarians don't want you to know. Now, this should be a crime. Now, here is a, a cheaper and safer way to go, and they don't tell you about it. Uh, this is just another one of many things I highlight in my book that people are unaware of and veterinarians are deceptive in, in how they present these things. I don't agree with this. The person in Croquet who, brought, who bought my book emailed me and asked me if it was true. Here again, veterinarians insist on testing before they dispense the monthly preventive. This person emailed me and asked if it was true what her vet had told her about there being a state law that mandated heartworm testing before the vet could dispense the medication. This is simply another example of a veterinarian actually lying to a client in order to extort another 25 or 30 dollars from it. I mean, this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And that the client, if, if your doctor tells you this, are you going to think your, your doctor is lying to you? And he was in this case. And this is another example. This is another, another reason I am so disgusted with my profession. So our book is How to Afford Veterinarian Care Without Mortgaging the Kids. And can you tell us, Dr. Busby, how to get this book? The best thing I can tell you is to look at my webpage, oldcountryvet.com. It has a, quite a detailed breakdown of what I've just said. It 
it gives my email address if you want to contact me and you can order it off my web page you can also get it from amazon.com or any bookstore can order it but look at my web page oldcountryvet.com thank you dr busby for the fascinating interview and i'm sure we'll hear more about the book mm-hmm.